All right, guys, welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. I've done the past several intros for the last several videos uh, all in the same area. I played a lot, got to this point, and I'll eventually get here in the videos, and then it'll be just be, you know, completely different at that point. But thank you guys for all the love and support, all the likes, everything. If you want this game quickly, just keep destroying that like button. And as always, guys, let's do this. So this is a John mission. We haven't, we, we did like the last one for him, I think was the sheep one. Can I help you there? Sure. Those are supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. I was going to leave my horse here, but then I thought, eh, why not? Oh, it's telling me to go this way. Oh, I'm, there must be like a... You hop the fence. Oh, shit! No, you can't. Well. <laughs> my horse good. Hold on, let me... <laughs> let me... Let me brush my horse off. Sh just shake it off, buddy. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> it's like, uh... Just a moment where you just have to learn from the damage, you know? You're a brave girl. There we go. Girl. Alright, let's get back out of here. I'm just gonna go this way. I mean, it's saying to go back there, but... You can go through these, I think. Okay, we're good. Woo! I got a little bit nervous there. That was hilarious. I should have bit the dust. When you when you fall in this game, it's brutal. Good men. Like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Oh, over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. In front of you. Yep. I think they've used the same engine like this game since like GTA 4, if I'm not mistaken. It could be the same. At least like the Crazy way the characters fool. move and stuff, I mean. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. 
We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. It's like we were just in this area, you know? I love how each chapter is like an actual Careful. chapter in a certain area, you know? Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> Alright, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but... Perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Whoa! Giddy up! Easy. Yeah. These houses are so spaced out, man. That's actually kind of cool. Because you got, uh... What feels like, like 20 acres of land or something right here. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. This game reminds me when I was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey a lot for some reason. I think it's just because the open world aspect. Getting in like a ship in that game and just going wherever right. you want. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head around the front. Hitch up there. Before we do anything, I probably need to... Health core moderately restores health... Uh... What do I have that's like... I got like 20 different things I can choose. I don't see if any of them give me like everything. Dead eye core. Uh... I can drink right. some of that. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Yeah, I feel like this is about to go. It's gonna go sideways here in a minute. So maybe it just has the salmon might be the best thing for that. Like the core re restore is probably the best thing you can do. All right, here we go. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from um, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. <laughs> uh huh. Wow. Hey, sir, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't. Nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. I've done this before. Whoa. Easy. Easy now. Easy. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier? Easy. It's okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. This is my new horse now. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. I'll watch the What the hell are you doing? Stop! I knew this was about to go down. Uh, Lancaster. I need to clean them. These guys are so dirty. I think next time I get to camp, I cleaned some of them, but not all of them. That was a good shot through the middle. Oh wow, my damn, uh... 
my dead eyes almost all the way. Even I got the core a little bit back, but nice. Let's get it. The guy's just running away. I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh oh, we got a couple on this side. though. hold on. I just find it easier just to do like one shot, aim again, one shot, aim again. This <laughs> is so much easier. It might use up more dead eye, but I feel like you spend so much time locking on to the actual aim itself. Shit! It blocked your way out! Go through the fifth. We got more on horseback. Keep going, I'll cover you. The fence is down. Come on. Let's try to lose them in the trees. I've heard there's like an actual best horse you can get in the game. It's like an Arabian horse. I think we lost. That's what I heard at least. I might try to get that for future videos. Down the road at least. We might not even be in the area to get it yet. Put him in the ear and he held his boat. There we go. Another guy behind me. Hold yeah. on. What in the world? Are you serious, dude? You see any more of them? No. Don't think so. All right, let's get these horses to Clement's Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions. Oh man, I got a lasso. Him. Hold on. Keep going. I'll Hold on, him. buddy. There we go. How easy there. Hey, Morgan. Over here. There we go. Should be smooth sailing, I hope. Clemens well Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Oh no. Don't tangle us up. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come on now. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Easy. This is approach. Come on over, dude. Whoa, now. Easy. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh... Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. 
Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. All right, horse flesh for dinner. Supplies, everything's looking good right now. Uh, what do we got on the map right now? Probably need to get ammo, but actually, I don't think I do, really. There's Dutch. Let's see where we're at. So we got this mission here. There was another one, but... Maybe... Oh, no, it's down there. I see it. Oh, uh, every time I go to his missions, man, they're like, something bad happens. <laughs> I feel like I know it's gonna be something else. Alright, I'm not gonna take any of that stuff yet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just head over here. Let me grab something from the medical stuff really quick. Hold on. I'll grab a few of these. I've been kind of popping these a lot. And right now, it's technically still yellow. If you take enough, it'll probably turn white. That's nah, fine. I'll leave it all there. Let's go talk to them really quick. I'm just gonna keep the story going. People seem to be liking this, so thank you so much for all the support on these. It really means a lot. Arthur. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me... I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. <laughs> so where do we huh? find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things. I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know... You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. Oh, the one thing I turned on was when the characters are speaking, it shows their name Here now. That's are. actually uh, something that I adjusted. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. That's why before it didn't, because that's like the default is to not show it, apparently. I haven't actually hitched the horse in a while. I've always just like just hop off. It's fine either way, really, but. <laughs> Why not? Alright, hold on. Horse cargo, I mean. Let me feed my horse really quick. 
I just feel like shit is about to go down. I don't know. There you go, buddy. It's all you. I'm sorry I had to get the other horse. Ah, oh, we're good. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. This is where I put on the mask. Scare him off. Yep, that's the word in town. Hello, Paulden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, Ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. This is an spec document. I'm not going to look at all that right now. I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Wait there. This horse has just grown on me, man. Like, I... It's like... I don't know, it's just like a part of the game at this point. Like, I don't know what I'd do. The thing is, the bonding okay, is maxed out, go. so... This way. I wonder if you can have like a whole stable of horses. Kind of like, uh, which Grand Theft Auto was where you can buy houses? I think most of them you can buy houses. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. If something goes wrong, you already know it will. This shit's about to be crazy, I already know it. Let me go ahead and get my... Mm. There's so many options, man. I'm gonna go with this one. But I'm also going to, uh, clean off my gun really quick. Go ahead and... Oh, yeah, I guess you can't clean while you're on the horse anyways. Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. 
I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. What are, oh, here we go. I can maintain it now. There it is. Yeah. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. Oh, let me hurry up and clean it. Please leave that gun in its holster for once. There we go. It's a lot better. Not like Max, but here we go. Yep. The gun looks better, too. <laughs> I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. No, 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 no. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm preparing for a show. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? <laughs> it's a small benefit to build an opera. So it's black water. Did you say Mrs. Chester Damson. Sing <laughs> I flatter nobody. <laughs> Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Whoa! Miss Dempsey, why did you stop singing? The New York audience, they were rather cruel. New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Could you? It's, it's such a small show, but would you see something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo-soprano. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. I gotta break this. Oh man. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Why would you have valuables, like... I don't know. On the back of, like, exposing. I guess it's kind of the trunk, but come on. I would keep something like money up front with me. A little finesse for one. Well done, sir! Well done! It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. 
See you soon, Arthur. That was a very easy middle. Hold on, what? Silver? I got so caught off guard, but I couldn't even finish my sentence. Hold on. Within eight minutes, so precise. What in the world, man? I haven't gone back to try to get gold on anything yet. I've gotten gold a few times, but not like intentionally, Let's you know. Go, bro. Just kind of happens. 